Hey everybody, this is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com and today we're going to be looking at Xperica HD which is a new uh, science slash educational app available in the App Store. We've looked at a couple good educational apps in the last week or so and I'm very impressed with what's going on in that genre. And uh, to celebrate we've got our typical Carol Never Wore Her Safety Glasses poster going on in the background. A bit of a obligatory science fun there. So let's go ahead and boot this thing up and then I'll give you a show of what it has to offer. Xperica HD is basically a free virtual lab assistant, I would say, or a set of four virtual labs that you can use in hypothetically a class setting, or even if you just wanted to brush up on some basic science, I suppose. But uh, the four experiments included are classics um, that you may or may not remember from high school. If you did these, you'll probably wax a little bit nostalgic and think about beakers and poisonous liquids and things like that. As you can see along the bottom here, too, there's a uh, row of six NOR experiments that uh, can be purchased for $3.99 as an in-app purchase. And the developer promises more are actually on the way, as well as teacher resources. So if you're a teacher or someone who just likes teacher resources, I suppose, those are coming. Which is, uh, I thought, very good. Um, that makes this app way more usable if you're a professor. Um, and I was really impressed with what it had to offer. So to give you an example of that, let's just boot up one of these that I haven't already done. Um, how about the spring app? Alright, so uh, here's the basic layout, and uh, what this app tries to do is to emulate the actual physical lab that you would do if you had the, uh, the materials necessary. So like we've got a lead weight with a spring right here, and the board at the top, and then uh, we've got our settings for the experiment over here as well. We've got the mass of the weight, uh, the spring constant, if you remember what that is, and then damping, time period, things like that, as well as a small calculator style graph along the bottom left here. And also options to reset and stop the spring oscillation in case you uh, decide something's amiss. But uh, what the real kicker, I'd say, of this app is the uh, these three tabs along the bottom, these tiny little paper clippings. Uh, if you click this one that says Experiment, it will actually detail what the experiment is for you. Which, uh, if you're like me and haven't done these in quite a while, it's good to refresh. And also, this would be nice for students in a classroom setting. You could, uh, with a little bit of teacher teacher addition, get a very good idea of what the experiment is for and what you're going to be learning from it. So I thought that was nice, and as well, you'll get the procedure, which gives you step-by-step -step instructions for exactly what to do to perform the experiment and get your results. Um, I was a little disappointed that this wasn't integrated. Uh, you can go step two, for example, and then go back to the experiment and do what you need to do. So we'll spring the spring. But, um, and it, it will return to step two, but I kind of wish that has, this had been integrated perhaps just a little bit better. I would have liked to have seen it within this layout. But beggars can't be choosers, and this is completely free. So, um, who can complain? And it looks fantastic, too. I have to admit, these all look very realistic. Even the calculator diagram looks very familiar for those of you who have used the old TI-83s and things like that. And I like the whiteboard feel over here, too, as well. It was all very nice. And also you have the apparatus list, which will detail everything that's laid out here for you. Um, again, in case you need a refresher or in a classroom setting, that'll give you a good rundown. And uh, I experienced this with all of the other ones as well. There's a very high quality production value here. Um, like this one, you can see everything is nicely laid out. The scale looks very realistic, the lead weights and things. It's all very professional, which was my biggest concern for the app. I wondered how this would set up in a in a um, educational setting and to the best of my knowledge this would pass any professor's test with flying colors I would give it an A plus in fact I actually really liked this app I'm not a professor or a person with uh, students and I don't particularly want to uh, recap on things like resistors because I'm a writer and bah who needs science but if I actually needed to do these things I would go here first I think this is fantastic um, I'm a big fan of what educational apps are doing on the iPad and iPhone and I think this is a prime example of what can be done and with things like uh, cheap additional experiments and laboratories I think this is a great way to go about things specifically if uh, you're at one of those fortunate schools that has iPads in the classroom this is free and then you could get several at least four lessons out of this and it'd be a great deal of fun for your students. And with teacher resources on the way, that's just an extra boon as well. Also, you can share to Facebook and Twitter or to email or even give feedback back to the developer, which is a nice touch. So you can keep, uh, say, parents updated with what you're doing or even the students themselves, things like that. It's just the tiny little touches that make this app really nice. And like I said, 
I really like the production value as well with how realistic these things look. All in all, I think this is a fantastic example of what can be done in the realm of education on an iOS device, and I give it a full A plus and five stars. This has been Luke Patrick with the iPhone app and I just want to thank you for tuning in.